And we're back with another episode of the Fashus Pokemon Leaf Green Wedlock Challenge. Ah, oh, yeah. Today, it is time to get the Ape Gym Badge, the Earth Badge, and take on an old nemesis. Before we do that, we gotta do some training. And there are a few areas that I definitely said I was going to go to and then didn't. So we're going to start off the episode by doing that. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long right now. Who have we got heading up this party? We've got Grimsby. Uh, I think just for the sake of convenience, we will lead with Ealing. Let's see what we've got. So, there are a few places. I kind of just want to spend the beginning of this episode to get stuff out of the way. Um, and that is definitely not the town map. So, there are a few places here still. We've got Treasure Beach, which sounds fantastic. And then we have Free Isle Port. I don't actually know if there's anything else down here. But it is certainly worth a look-see. I mean, I think there's a few other things I can get with Surf. Um, but we'll get there eventually. I'm going to skip that trainer first of all. I want to see just how big this Treasure Beach actually is. And potentially, there could be... You know, I really need this item finder, <laughs> for sure. I'm not expecting many new encounters here. Let's say we take on this guy. In fact, we're going to lead with Wells. You know what? I feel like Wells never leads a battle, so we're going to do that. I don't know if we'll even face this guy. Good things get washed up by the ocean current out of this beach. That's why I often come here for some beach combing. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sure this is a trainer, so we can take this trainer on for sure. Let's do it. Hey there. Lying back, rocked by the waves. It's exquisite. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that in the middle of the ocean. But I trust your instincts. Instincts? Instincts. A seal. Wells, I'm hoping that you can take this thing down. It is no ice type yet, so twin needles should do the job. Or not. Alright, um, it is but a minor setback. That is slightly infuriating. Seal is taking a nap during battle. You're not taking these things seriously, Seal. I suppose we need to sort of come up with strategies for the Elite Four eventually, but I suppose maybe I should do it one moment at a time. Got to get through Giovanni first. So, the plan. We've got to defeat Giovanni. Once we do that, it's then time to take on Francis once again, and he has a tough team, a full team of six, of each individual types. It's not going to be easy. And then it's the matter of Victory Road. Now, if you guys want me to take on the Legendary Birds, I'll probably do it after Victory Road, but before the League. I feel like that's what I'd do. But either way, we then have to take on the league. And that's going to be tough. Especially with his current team. Honestly, Pickering and Wells don't fare too well against a majority of the Pokemon there. And I don't remember where you get the TM for Ice Beam or any of that stuff. And I kind of need Ice Beam. I don't want to get stuck with Blizzard. I don't think we have Ice Beam. I suppose I could take a look at what TMs I have. I don't remember where you get those. I don't know if they're post-game or what. I might actually look that up when I get round to it. But even then, my current team doesn't really have anyone that would benefit most from Ice Beam. I could teach Grimsby Ice Beam, but Grimsby, as we know, doesn't have the best of defenses, and by defenses, I mean attacks, <laughs> of special attacks. Um, but you would probably be the only thing I would expect to know Ice Beam. So that's going to be interesting. So I suppose now we're here on Treasure Beach. Let's see if we can actually encounter a thing. It's a Fearow. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm expecting Fearows, Slowpokes, Wild Persians, all that sort of stuff. But you never know. And I was trying to see if we could sneak around the back and if there's any crazy things going on. But no. Just more Fearow. So, the other areas I could go to, very briefly, again, this is purely just to explore. I don't know how much training will actually get done, but I want to get this out of the way now, so that we can lead up to a pretty cool climax of the game. So, I know that there's a route, the older uh, bridgey route stuff to the east of Vermilion City. There's a few things I can get there with Surf. Ooh, a Tangler. 
Now we tried this before and failed. Maybe now is the time. I think we secret power. And let's see what this thing does. Oh, that did not do too much damage, to be honest. And I definitely can't escape right about now. <laughs> Which is not the best sign. Uh, but we're going to seek power again. Oh! That was so close. Oh, well, we've murdered this thing. <laughs> Never mind. Hey! This is precisely why we didn't catch this last time. Well, I'm not going to lose sleep over not getting this tangler, to be completely honest with you. Get out of here. Well, there goes our encounter. <laughs> it was a nice effort, Ealing. Almost got it perfect. But never mind. Now, we've pretty much done with that, so we're going to see if there's actually anything here in Free Isle Port. So, we need to heal. I will see you guys momentarily. Alrighty. Now, let's find out if there's actually anything down here. I don't think there actually is, unless... Oh, of course. <laughs> now, I think there is an area, but you have to use this tunnel, so maybe there's nothing of value worth here. I suppose that means it's time to take a cruise back to Vermilion City, which I am down with. So, all, that's, all we need to do is surf up some few things. And I think there's something to be surfed east of here, which is but a stroll away, and I think maybe there might be like stuff still in a safari zone. I don't know if I want to really bother with that. And again, it all depends on what we can actually find. But there must be some cool things around here. But I know that there's a TM somewhere here. Can't recall exactly where though. I remember this route. Ah oh, man, good times. I may have gone past it, but it was. And I know in the old first gen days it used to be swift. Don't know what it is now. But we'll find out. The mystery continues. It is here, right? <laughs> Not just going crazy. I am crazy. No, there it is. Inconspicuous patch of grass. And it is... Skill Swap. Now that is a really random TM that could see a very niche usage. So what TMs do we have that could be useful? I don't think we have Ice Beam. I mean, we have Blizzard. But the accuracy is so bad, I don't want to have to rely on that. We do have Fire Blast though, and that actually is fairly decent, except I don't think anything can actually learn it. And we do have some move tutors, I'm pretty sure the Rock Slide guy we haven't used yet. So there's a lot of options that we do have. And I might also consider teaching Rock Smash and getting some of the other items. Let's consult the town map. I don't think there's actually much else to surf to. I think that's pretty much it. It's got this patch of water here, but then the only other water is really here. So I could go to Safari Zone, or I could maybe... Hmm. Yeah, I've got, I've got to teach Rock to Summon at some point and get those items, but I think unless there's something really important there, I might actually just have a look to see rather than actually doing it. So I think what we're going to do is finish our training. We're going to do the old fisherman jig. So let's get this super rod down to a T, and we're going to do quite a bit of training. Thankfully not too much. So we've got to get everyone to level 49 for this gym. Uh, so that means one level for everyone except Pickerels, Team Pickerels. <laughs> got to get them up a few levels. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But anyway, enjoy the training, and I'll be back momentarily.
time, guys. We are fully prepared. Or are we, actually? Let's we'll probably double check that. <laughs> Wyvern is definitely level 49, uh, which is the minimum requirement we need. Now, we could do that Petra Berry because Grimsby, hopefully, you are going to be the star of the show. I'm kind of nervous. And it's not just because Giovanni has murdered Pokemon before of mine. But if Grimsby falls, Ealing is probably also going to fall. So here is my plan, my grand plan. So pretty sure Giovanni's team is a... He has two Rhyhorn for some reason. And I'm pretty sure that it was never intended for that to be the case. Pretty sure they were supposed to give him a Rhydon as well instead of two Rhyhorn. I'm pretty sure someone has oversighted that, I guess. But I'm not complaining, <laughs> either way. And I'm pretty sure that the outcome would still be the same, even if it was a Rhydon. Just makes it a little bit easier for me. So he has two Rhyhorn, which Surf should one-hit KO, hopefully. He also has a Dog Trio, which I feel like Surf might also be able to take down in one hit. I'm not sure. I might just strength that thing, because Dog Trio is pretty weak defensively anyway. But then, the main threats I'm worried about are Nido Queen and Nido King, and they are both poison type, which is why the Petra Berry is going on Grimsby. I've learned. I've learned from my mistakes. But what I'm also slightly concerned about is, I remember in red, blue, and yellow, or at least definitely in yellow, Nido King definitely had Thunder, which is obviously no good for Grimsby. So if after I take down the first Rhyhorn, Giovanni will send out a Nido King, then I know what's coming. So I don't know if I want to use Rain Dance, if that is the case. Now, in the event that these two don't make it, the only other option I really have is Drool's Doom. Drool's Doom can definitely psychic the Nidos, which I'm okay with. Should do a decent amount of damage. Um, and then, so yes, yeah, more. I mean, you could take down the Nidos, no problem. But yeah, these guys don't have much. I suppose Wells is Brick Break for Rhyhorn, <laughs> amazingly enough. What I think I'm going to do before we begin is check if there's any decent TMs that we could use in this situation that might be good. It's ground, bullet seed, nope, <laughs> we're resorting the bullet seed, huh? I mean, we could use protect. That's not the worst idea ever. I don't know if you can repurchase it though. I don't think you can. So I think I'm going to save it actually. Could we teach return to something? It won't be too useful now actually, but we might get round to it. Huh. I was kind of hoping. Oh, we do. We have Steel Wind. And you know what? We may as well stick this on Spennymore. Because there's nothing else I can really do. Um, We can get rid of Secret Power. The Steel Wind? Because Leer could still be pretty useful, all things considered. Hmm. Undecided. I think I'm going to get rid of Secret Power because I can always reteach that. And I don't think I'm ever going to need Steel Wing again after this. Okay, so I feel like that's that's all we can really do. Skill Scrap could be pretty wild, but we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to stick to the basics. Now, apparently, trainers are using full restores now, so we have at least two. Um, in the event that Giovanni uses more than that, I suppose we have Hyper Potion still. Which I guess we would use in lieu of doing that. Yeah, we got six, so that's fine. I don't think there's any other hold items I can use. Let's let's take a cheeky look though. I don't think we do. It does not seem that way. Remind me who the, I think Wells has the Quick Claw. I don't feel like Quick Claw is gonna be a problem. But having said that. What? The bag is full? What is this madness? Right. This day had to come eventually. <laughs> You'll have to toss me. Right, let's get rid of that dire hit. And we're going to put the Quick Claw on Drawlston in case the worst happens. I feel like that is the plan. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, Drawlston. The good news at least is that the Rhyhorn is a level 50. Everyone else is lower level than me. Now, I don't really plan on taking on much of these trainers, to be honest. I don't feel like it's necessary. I don't know how many we can avoid. You might have to face at least one. But anyway. Yo, champ in the making. 
Even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. I don't even know why I'm hired. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. Oh, that's debatable. Also, I heard the trainers here like ground type Pokemon. Leader question mark? <laughs> Is that legal? Why can't you disclose the name? There used to be an item here once upon a time. Now, can we get past? I know there's a guy up here. We might have to cheekily get past him. So let's let's take a look at this. I think we probably have to take on both these guys. So that's fine. Let's well take on this dude first. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. I kind of hope not. <laughs> I'm hoping to get to the gym leader today, sir. Takashi, give him a choke. All right, level 38. That is fine. I'm hoping you do well here, Grimsby, though. I mean, you can resist the fighting type, so that's fine. Let's see how much strength does. I don't think that will one-hit KO it, to be honest. Oh, it was close, though. Ooh, vital. Now, I wonder if these guys have counter. That would be a bad day. I kind of hope they don't. Just in case they do, I should probably not use strength next time. The chop? I mean, I think we can use strength on this guy. Yeah, this will be fine, but the next Machoke we should probably surf. And just as a good sort of calculation, we should see how much surf does. Not that we're facing fighting types. Why are there even fighting types here? I'm not entirely sure. Alright, Takashi. Prepare to be surfed. Flood in this gym. Okay, it does about half. Revenge. Ugh. Ooh, okay. That did a lot for being not very effective. But surf to do the business. Nice. Okay, well now we've prepared for this ground type gym by facing fighting types. Aya! The Pokemon League, you don't get cocky. Oh, you'll see, sir. Just watch in a few episodes' time. Although you probably won't be subscribed to me, so I don't see how you'd be able to see that. But anyway, looks like we should probably just face this guy down here and then be done with it. I don't think there's any point in training on these guys. I feel like I'm at a high enough level that I could possibly be. The truly talented win with style, or just grinding it out like a crazy person if you're like me and don't use items. Or if you do use items, rather. What the heck? Five Pokemon? One of them being a Marowak. Alright, well here's a litmus test for Surf, I suppose. Let's do it. Yeah, see, these guys can be dangerous, and there's a lot that don't even have ground types. I'm pretty sure there's a guy with a Tauros. Uh, ain't nobody got time to mess with that thing. And a Rhyhorn, okay. Well, this will definitely be a test. If we could take down a Marowak, pretty sure a Rhyhorn is no problem. Excellent. Now I just need to do that for Giovanni's two Rhyhorn. Bravo. Uh, and second Marowak. Shall meet the same fate as your four father, mother? I wasn't really paying attention to gender. But you're doomed either way. I'm just getting tense, you guys. Oh, I need arena, okay. Hmm. I don't really want to use my poison berry just yet, so we will switch. Alright, Ealing, you get some action in this ground gym. <laughs> because why not? Let's not dig. I felt like that'd be a bad idea, so we're just gonna shockwave. I mean, what is Nidorina possibly do? Faint is what it was going to do. <laughs> awesome. But Nido Queen, okay. Grimsby it is, I guess. I swear, if this uses the poison berry, I will not be happy. <laughs> Though, it does give me a good chance to see how much surf does. And we have Intimidated, so that's always good. Right, let's Surf and see how much it does. Uh, ooh, that's okay. Slam! It might even... Oh, wow, that was really good. Oh, and a Hyper Potion. Cheeky item usage for you. So that might two-hit KO Giovanni's. I think it might be level 45. Not 100% sure. Man, we're relying on a Gyarados surfing to get through this gym. That is a bad time indeed. But we'll find out how well it goes. I lost my grip. And that's no good. 
The leader will score me for losing this way. Well, not if I have anything to say about it. Anyway, it is time. I'm going to go heal and we'll be back to get our FGM badge. See you in a moment. All right, we've got a score to settle. Giovanni, you murderer. It's rare that I guess you get a chance to avenge your deaths, but here we are. Now, there's not much else I could do to be prepared for this guy. We at least have the berry attacks this time. I've learned my lesson. Hopefully, it comes in useful. And hopefully Grimsby can deal with Giovanni all by herself. If not, it's going to be made for an interesting time. We'll see how this goes. Good luck, everyone. Fwahaha. Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so like, till I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. Surely this pays better than being head of Team Rocket. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. You mean you were holding back before? That is a bad sign. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Grimsby, we need to do this for Chester, for Wigan, and for Gosport. Let's surf. And then, by Giovanni's next Pokemon, we will get to know what we're dealing with here. We are level 50, which is very nice. You might even learn something. Oh, Dragon Dance! That is an amazing move. Potentially not for this battle. Um, and it could probably replace Leer, to be honest. Let's do that. Oh, man. That's exciting. But we have a battle to get through. Right, what's up next? His other Rhyhorn. Okay. Now, I wondered if that might happen. That means that maybe he doesn't have Thunder after all. Let's surf. And hopefully this does the business. Which it does. Okay. Well, his highest level is down. Right, but those are the two least threatening things. He has a Duck Trio now. And I feel like I want to strength this thing. Oh, it's only level 42. Yeah, that's strength. And I'm even faster than it. What the heck is going on? Oh, and a crit. Oh, man. I can't even have done if you saving that Grimsby, but I'm not complaining too much. Okay, and here's Nido Queen. Now, here's where things get interesting. It's only level 44. We'll surf and see what happens. Ooh, that was pretty good, Grimsby. Okay, this could be bad. Oh, that is bad. Okay, Grimsby. I almost hope you heal here, Giovanni. Because this is not a good situation for good old Grimsby. But the Nido Queen is down. Okay, we're four-fifths of the way there, but now it's Nido King. Now I wonder what this thing even knows. I'm sure it knows Thrash. Okay. There's not much else we could do, Grimsby. Let's surf. Oh, okay. This is purely down to luck now. So close. He doesn't heal. Yes, Grimsby, you broke through. Oh, Grimsby, you did it. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Not a single parahax that whole time. Revenge is sweet. Oh, that was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. We did it. I can't believe it. That was real. Oh, that was a really precise amount of money. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. What is this? Earthquake! Oh, it is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. I mean, you're still running it, right? <laughs> Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. Not like this. The Twitterati are lethal, you don't you know. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. Okay, I mean, you're overacting slightly. As for myself, I should dedicate my life to training again. And I probably should keep using my Kangaskhan. It did really well the last time. Let us meet again someday. Bye! Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. 
Grimsby! I can't believe you just destroyed Giovanni, who caused me so much anguish before. I guess it just goes to show that, one, having a water type is paramount <laughs> in many challenges, and two, that having a Kangaskhan is OP. <laughs> For sure. Oh man. Also, the fact that he didn't get paralyzed a single time. Hmm. Thing of beauty, I must say. And for that, we're going to heal you. Now, as, as very happy as I am at the events that have just transpired in this episode, there's a slightly more concerning matter coming up right after this. And that is good old Francis. Now, Francis is back. And he has six Pokemon now. Most of them are the same as his previous load, but... They're pretty high level, and we've got to do some more training, believe it or not, because his highest level is 53. So I want to get everyone to level 52. And once again, I think Grimsby and Ealing have that battle sewn up. But anyway, that is a problem for next time. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Toodles!